Hey, hello and welcome to the show. My name is Chase from Al Hamarano Culture Unlimited and in today's video we'll be looking back at West Ham's last match of the season which was a 3-1 defeat away at Brighton and Hove Albion. We'll also look at what this result means for the Hammers as the 21-22 Premier League season has now come to an end. All this and more in today's episode of Al Hamarano Culture Unlimited. Look, I'm not gonna lie, shooting a video after West Ham lose, it really sucks. But this bread ain't gonna get itself, so having said that, let's go. So let's set the scene. It's the final day of the Premier League season. All West Ham needed to qualify for the Europa League and to finish six was to beat Brighton at Brighton. And we also needed Crystal Palace to do us a favor and beat Manchester United at Palace's home ground, Salis Park. Now let's fast forward to half time. The players are having their cup of tea in the dressing room. West Ham, thanks to an amazing goal from Mikel Antonio, are one nil up. And in South London, Crystal Palace are also one nil up against Man United. As it stood at half time, West Ham were on their way to a top six finish and a consecutive season in Europe's second most elite club competition. You know what? I actually can't get myself to talk about the second half. Brighton, they scored three goals and West Ham, they looked like a bunch of strangers. Thank heavens the referee blew the final whistle and put the Hammers out of their misery. So what does this result mean for West Ham as the sun has now set on the 21-22 football season? While West Ham finished the Premier League season at 7th spot, this means the Hammers have qualified for next season's Europa Conference League. Now, it's only the third tier European club competition, but it's still European football, and I'm sure it'll be an absolute ball for the West Ham fans as they get to follow the mighty hammers around Europe again. This also means that West Ham have now qualified for European competition for two seasons in a row. Let that sink in. West Ham are starting to be regulars on the continent. Yes, this is an incredible achievement by David Moyes and his merry men, but when you consider all West Ham had to do to finish six was beat Brighton and at half time they were beating Brighton. It makes finishing seventh and the conference league qualification a very bitter pill to swallow. Look, there are many reasons why West Ham didn't qualify for the Europa League and to a great extent if you look at all the weeks West Ham spent in fourth in the top four. You could even argue there could be reasons why we didn't finish in the Champions League spot. It wasn't down to this one defeat at Brighton. There are many reasons why West Ham missed out on a top six or even a top four finish, but I won't cover them in this video. But if I had to pick one reason, one thing West Ham got wrong this season, one common theme, one occurrence that happened so many times, it was not capitalizing when results around us went our way. Obviously, I know you cannot win them all, that's impossible, but so often this season, results would go West Ham's way and David Moyes and his merry men failed to capitalize on those opportunities. And that, my friends, is all I have to say about that. How do you feel about West Ham finishing seventh and qualifying for next season's Europa Conference League? And if you're not a West Ham fan, firstly, thanks for watching so far in the video. You absolutely rock. <laughs> but if you're not a West Ham fan, how do you feel about your club's end of the season? Do let me know in the comments below. Guys and girls, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. It really does help the channel out. And if you haven't yet, why not subscribe to Al Hamarano Culture Unlimited. My name is Chase, and until next time, come on, you irons.